Hello there, and thank you for joining me, Mike, once again, here on my YouTube channel, Mr. Mike Sharman. You're very welcome. Please give us a like, share, subscribe to my channel if you can, turn the notifications on, so you find out each and every time I add something new onto the channel. You're here today for the daily quiz. Take your pick style, I'll come on to that in a minute, and it's episode number 36. For all you new quizzers and quizettes, or our older ones if you've forgotten, here's how it works. 10 general knowledge questions, each with a multiple choice answer, A, B, C or D. One of the options is correct, the other three are wrong. Please give me the correct answer or the letter that corresponds with the answer, which will be either A, B, C or D. You with me so far? Good. It's a point if it's right, nothing taken away. If it is wrong, if you don't know the answer, have a guess. Because you have nothing to lose. You are playing for that warm, fuzzy feeling inside of getting a good score. And please let me know in the comments what your score is. It's great to know how your scores are going, you know, quiz on quiz. So, pens ready, paper ready. Either if playing on your own or if you're playing with someone else, make sure they're ready as well. Here we go. It is episode number 36 of the Daily Quiz. Take your pick. Question number one. At which UK race course is the 1,000 guineas stakes run each year and dates back to 1814? At which UK race course is the 1,000 guineas stakes run each year and dates back to 1814? Is it A, Air, B, Newmarket, C, Weatherby or D, York? At which UK race course is the 1,000 Guinness Stakes run each year, which dates back to 1814? A, Air, B, Newmarket, C, Weatherby, or D, York? It's question one in today's daily quiz. Once again, give us a like and share. Spread the news across social media platforms. Get new people playing uh, along with the quiz as well. Free to enjoy. Question number two. What is the name of the Coronation Street character played by the actor William Roach? What's the name of the Coronation Street character played by the actor William Roach? Is it A. Ken, B. Kevin, C. Roy or D. Steve? What is the first name of the Coronation Street character played by the actor William Roach? A. Ken, B. Kevin, C. Roy or D. Steve? It's question number two. One for you soap fans out there. Coronation Street in question two. We're sticking with television, actually, for question number three. Which TV programme, question three, was set in the fictional area of Sun Hill? Which TV programme was set in the fictional area of Sun Hill? It's question three. Was it A, Dixon of Doc Green? B, Inspector Morse? C, Taggart, or D, The Bill? Which TV programme was set in the fictional area of Sun Hill? A, Dixon of Dot Green, B, Inspector Morse, C, Taggart, or D, The Bill? That is question number three. Ten questions each and every day on the daily quiz here. Some more obscure than others. Maybe this one, one of the more obscure. Question, question number four. Christmas tree pine needles are a good source of which vitamin? Christmas tree pine needles are a good source of which vitamin? Question four. Is it A, vitamin A? B, vitamin B? You can see where this is going, can't you? C, vitamin C? Or D, vitamin D? Christmas tree pine needles, question four, are a good source of which vitamin? A, A, B, B, C, C, or D, D. Anyone's just joined the quiz, sort of at that moment, just sort of jumped to there. They'll, they'll think there's some sort of major lagging issue on the, uh, on the video. Uh, A, B, C, D, which of those is the... Uh, Found in Christmas tree pine needles, a very good source of which vitamin? A, B, C, D is question four. Question number five. How many sides does a rhombus have? How many sides does a rhombus have? Is it A, three? 
B4, C5, or D6? How many sides does a rhombus have? A3, B4, C5, or D6? Halfway through the daily quiz today. Five more questions to go. We go to a sporting-based one next for you. Question number six. What is the perfect score in a game of 10-pin bowling? What is the perfect score in a game of 10-pin bowling? Is it A, 100, B, 200, C, 300, or D, 400? What is the perfect score in a game of 10-pin bowling? A, 100, B, 200, C, 300, or D, 400? It's question six. 10-pin bowling, the perfect score. 100, 200, 300, 400, A, B, C, D. That was number six. Here's number seven. In which country was the legendary singer Cliff Richard born? In which country was the legendary singer Cliff Richard born? Question seven. A, India. B, Peru. C, South Africa. Or D, Wales. In which country was the legendary singer Cliff Richard born? A, India, B, Peru, C, South Africa, or D, Wales? That's question number seven. India, Peru, South Africa, Wales. Cliff Richard born in which of those in question seven? A, B, C, D there. Question number eight. Who had a huge 1960s hit with Release Me? Who had a huge 1960s hit with Release Me? A. Elvis Presley. B. Engelbert Humperdinck. C. Jim Reeves. Or D. Tom Jones. Who had a huge 1960s hit with Release Me? A. Elvis Presley. B. Engelbert Humperdinck. C. Jim Reeves. Or D. Tom Jones. That one is question number eight. We move on to your penultimate question in today's quiz. Question number nine. How old was the actor Gene Wilder when he died in 2016? How old was the actor Gene Wilder when he died in 2016? A, 53. B, 63. C, 73. Or D, 83. How old was the actor Gene Wilder when he died in 2016? A, 53, B, 63, C, 73, or D, 83? It's question number nine. Leaves us with just one. Last chance for a point in today's quiz. Question number 10. What was the number of the last Apollo flight dating to December 1972? What was the number of the last Apollo flight dating to December 1972? Was it A, 13, B, 15, C, 17, or D, 19? What was the number of the last Apollo flight dating to December 1972? A, 13, B, 15, C, 17, or D, 19? OK, this is uh, the point at which, if you want to check through your answers, have a bit more thinking time or arguing time, you need to be pressing the pause button, wherever it is down here somewhere. Um, because when you take me off pause, I'm going to give you the answers to today's quiz. So, pause away. You're back. The answers to the daily quiz, take your pick. Episode 36 are as follows. Question one. The 1,000 Guinness Stakes is run each year dating back to 1814 at which UK race course? That's B, Newmarket. Uh, Ken, Ken, option A, question two, is the character played by uh, William Roach. Uh, that's A, Ken. Number three, uh, Sun Hill, which TV programme was set there? That's D, The Bill. Question four, Christmas tree pine needles are a good source of which vitamin? That was C. Option C, vitamin C. A rhombus in question five has B, four sides. 
The perfect score in a game of 10-pin bowling, question 6, is C, 300. Cliff Richard in question 7 was born in A, India. Release Me was a huge hit of the 1960s in question 8 for B, Engelbert Humperdinck. When Gene Wilder died in 2016, question 9, he was how old? It was D, he was D, 83 years old. And the number of the last Apollo flight dating to December 1972, question 10, C, 17. So, some of you like to follow the letters to the answers, top to bottom, 1 to 10. Uh, if that's you, here we go. B, A, D, C, B, C, A, B, D, C. There we are. We've made it through a game. Please let me know your score out of 10 in the comments whilst you're there. Give us a like. Give us a share as well across the various multimedia platforms, social uh, engines out there, Facebook, Twitter, all of the others, to spread the word to other quizzes and quizettes. If you could subscribe to the channel too, I would be most grateful. Really nice, kind thing to do. What's another nice, kind thing to do, hopefully, is to bring you another free uh, daily quiz. I'll be doing that tomorrow, episode 37. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll find out when it goes uh, live if you turn the notifications on. Whatever you do with yourself between now and then, make sure you stay safe, have fun, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Ten more questions, all A, B, C, D, with another daily quiz. Take care, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.